In SQL, we have a class called group by that comes in conjunction with the select command and what it does is merging multiple records that have the same value for a specific column. This is the basic structure of the group by class and in this video we'll be talking about this class and the options that we have while using it. Here in our sales table we have some records that are related to some products. Each product may be repeated multiple times and what I'm gonna do is summarizing all the sales for each product so at the end we will have only one row for each product and the revenue will be the total revenue from that specific product in that row. For this purpose I do select product ID and separated by comma another field summary of revenue and I name it with as keyword as total revenue from sales table and here I need to type group by and the name of the field product ID and this way I can list all of the sales in just one row depending on the product ID. Also we can step further and add some conditions to our select command that is using group by by adding the having keyword and then the conditions that we are looking for. This is the structure of this type of commands and let's see how it's done. Here we have some products that have sold less or more than 10,000. One of them is less than and two of them have more than 10,000 revenues. Let's say that we are interested in the products that have more than 10,000 revenues. In this case, we want to use the previous command and add a having condition to it and count the revenues and then the operator and then the value. This is the structure, I press enter and this time I get only two records and both of them have more than 10,000 revenues. And this is the whole story behind the group by class and the having filter that you can use in your select commands.